So, you want to upgrade your CPU but still want to retain your old motherboard? Well, a BIOS update might be in order and today I'm going to show you how it's done on every manufacturer and uh, probably the easiest way possible. First of all, what's the reasoning behind doing a BIOS update? My PC works, so why should I do this? Well, first of all, there's the problem when you want to upgrade on an older motherboard. That was the case for B350 or X370 motherboards, for example. There was a, a huge wave of people having to do BIOS upgrades if they wanted to upgrade their CPU to a uh, Zen Plus or Zen 2 architecture. So that's a possibility that you'll, you'd have to upgrade it there. Or for example, if you want to use a newer feature that was implemented with a newer BIOS version. There are either some stability improvements, some CPU boost improvements that improve clock speeds and therefore can even improve the performance of the system or even just the stability. So if you have problems with crashing or freezing or whatever, a BIOS update might help with that. It also helps with memory compatibility very often and graphics card compatibility. It can change all sort of things. So I would always recommend updating to the latest BIOS or UFI if you can. Just make sure to do it right. And that's why I'm going to show you how. Before we are going to update the BIOS, we have to check our BIOS version, which you can do with CPU-Z. Um, I would always suggest downloading this tool if you want to check something on your CPU or motherboard. In our case, we are using the Asus B450 Plus from the Prime series. And it's important that you also look at the revision number because sometimes between different rev revisions you have to download different biases. So be careful with that and choose the right revision. Otherwise it might not work or the up update might not work or it just might not detect the file when you're in the BIOS flasher. The other thing that you have to look out for is the motherboard name obviously because it has to be the same as the file because even if it's like a Wi-Fi version of some motherboard um, then it still might not work just because of that Wi-Fi addition and you'd have to choose either the Wi-Fi version or the non-Wi-Fi version depending on what you have. Here we can also see the BIOS version that is installed currently so we have the uh, 3810 which is from the 21st of November 2022 and then we're just gonna go on to the ASUS website and search for our motherboard in our case as I said and then just go to the support page most of the manufacturers have it located in the same location and then drivers and utilities or maybe drivers and BIOSes or whatever. And then you have two selections, drivers and tools, and we need BIOS and firmware. And there we have a list of every BIOS version that is available for this motherboard. So you also can see we have the 3810 and you can also see what has been improved with the newer versions and there may be some requirements that you install not the latest version if the, if your version on the motherboard is really old you may have to do some in between steps so maybe you'd have to install if you have the 3810 maybe it is required to first install the 4003 and then update to the 4202 but yeah you just have to look out for that in the changes that have been done to the UFIs um, which are listed below in most cases. Also there's another thing that can be installed which are beta biases. I would stay away from those because they can introduce instabilities or they are maybe some features do not work properly on those although that might be listed. I would suggest only using final biases although it could possibly be a benefit if you have some not supported CPU or whatever that is only supported with the beta BIOS and then 
there might be a reason why you should install that beta BIOS. Otherwise, I would not really recommend it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna download that. That's gonna come in a zip file and we're just gonna extract that and put the BIOS file, which is either some kind of .rom or .022 or whatever um, file on our USB stick. This can be any USB stick most of the time, but again, here are some differences. Some motherboards won't accept USB 3.0 USB sticks. So to be on the safe, safe side, obviously you can try different sticks, but to be on the safe side, I would recommend a USB 2.0 stick with a maximum of 32 gigabytes and using a USB 2.0 port on your motherboard. If you don't have USB 2.0, use the oldest standard you have. So USB 3.0 in most cases if there is no 2.0 available. Then you just go into the BIOS as you would usually, so most cases with the F1, F2 or delete key. Most of you should probably know how to get into your BIOS. Also, please reset your BIOS settings or just the BIOS or the UFI before you update your BIOS just to be safe and so that no settings can be copied onto the new BIOS or whatever. So um, it's just a recommendation from my side so that nothing goes wrong. The BIOS will be reset with the flash anyway. And then there should be either under the tool section or on some different manufacturers um, there is a flash option on the bottom or on the top or whatever or there's a designated button for it i'm going to show some different options right here where on that feature can be found on different manufacturers and in our case it is called asus ez flash as you might see on some manufacturers, there's also the option to update the BIOS over the network. Although that does not work quite well most of the time. It happens very often that the BIOS that is downloaded there is not the most recent version. So I'd stay away from this and download the file from the website and do it that way. To update the BIOS from there, you just go onto your USB stick, should be listed in the menu, and then just select the file, update, and the process should begin. Please be careful and do not, in under any circumstances, turn off your PC. It is recommended to run your PC on a uninterruptible power supply, so a battery backup so that it does not randomly turn off if you have unstable power. So that is also something that you have to look out for. Please do not turn off your PC. Um, even if it seems like it may be hanging somewhere, just wait a few minutes and the whole flashing process should take somewhere between one and three to five minutes. It always kind of depends on the motherboard as well. I have seen processes that take like five to maybe even six, seven minutes. So just be, be a bit patient and wait until it's done. The PC should automatically restart. And with that restart, well, you should have the new BIOS version on your motherboard. And uh, yeah, you can use everything that is now new, basically. And that's also it for this video. If you have some issues or questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I wish you a nice day and goodbye.